Alrighty, welcome back. Great to have you with us, New Zealand, from one end of paradise to the other. This is Paul Henry on a Thursday morning. It's 24 minutes past seven. Life is set to become a whole lot, e well, in a few years' time, a whole lot easier for thousands of small businesses across New Zealand after the Prime Minister announced a $187 million overhaul of the provisional tax system. Don't roll your eyes. This is going to be fascinating. The changes would start in about two years' time, as I say. It is the start of the government's pre-budget announcements. We're going to serialise this. Executive Director of the New Zealand Institute, uh, Oliver Hartwich, initiative rather, Oliver Hartwich, joins me now. Oliver, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Now, this, at the risk of this being an interminably dull interview based on an interminably, interminably dull subject, um, we will try and make provisional tax interesting. Uh, this is a real bugbear for small businesses, isn't it? It is. Well, let's try to make it a little bit more interesting then. There is a famous quote by an infamous French finance minister, Jean-Baptiste Colbert. He lived in the 17th century, uh, sorry, 18th century. He said that the art of taxation consists in so plucking the goose as to obtain the largest amount of feathers with the least amount of hissing. That's really what this uh, government announcement is all about, because uh, the government is trying to master the art of taxation. They're trying to reduce the amount of hissing, because of course businesses would rather like to see tax cuts, while he's not delivering them. But at least he's making it a little bit easier to pay the tax, to comply with your tax burdens. Because currently what businesses have to do, they have to report to the government three times a year yep. an estimate of how much they think they are liable to pay taxes. In the future, this will be practically automatic, because a lot of businesses are moving on to cloud-based accounting services, such yep. as zero and myobi in the future these um, software packages will calculate the tax liability every second month and then basically the payment of the tax is automatic so that makes life a lot easier for businesses therefore it's a welcome announcement and of course we've got to remember that small businesses that are tied up with provisional tax actually represent the largest the largest employment sector in the country don't they Yes, absolutely. And we're talking about probably around 100 or 110,000 small businesses to whom that might apply. So for them, of course, it makes life easier and they can just get on with what they really want to do, business. OK, so for these people, this was a very significant announcement today. As I say, it is the first of this series of pre-budget speeches by John Key. Did, did we ha were there any indications in there of the sorts of things that might be in the budget? Um, for instance, um, there was some indication that there won't be income tax cuts announced in the budget. Well, nobody would expect income tax cuts in the budget in 2016 because mm -hmm. 2016 is, of course, not an election year. Not an year. election year. Governments like to do that in election years because uh, voters do not have a great uh, memory. So you have to do that closer to an election to be rewarded for that if you're a politician. So it's good politics not to do it this year. It's good politics to wait until next year. All right. So anything else? What, I mean, are you predicting there might be any shocks in the budget? Probably not. I think for this year we can expect a steady as she goes budget. There's not going to be great surprise, there are not going to be great announcements. Um, it will be pretty dull and boring as far as budgets are concerned, but probably that's a good thing because uh, actually the government has been doing this for seven years, basically managing their finances better, slowly and gradually shrinking the size of government, which is a good thing. But I don't really expect any shock announcements in May. And really, this announcement we had yesterday, welcome as it is, it is not a headline gripping measure because had it been, of course, it would have been announced in the budget itself. Brilliant. Oliver, I thank you so much for joining us and th and congratulations too because you you just added a touch of class and a, a little unex unexpected turn of philosophy to to the interview this morning and i appreciate it very much oliver hartwich executive director of the new zealand initiative i love those top shelf quotes um right